Hey everybody, it's Monster Forge again, and uh, I figured I'd share with you some birthday presents I got. <laughs> uh, to explain a little bit, I went up to Tennessee recently for a family reunion, and my nephew lives in Tennessee now, and I don't get to see him all the time, and so he he had some presents that he wanted to give me for my birthday and I felt like he was extremely generous in doing so and the stuff he gave me was really cool and so I figured you know why not share it you guys might get a kick out of seeing you know the kind of stuff that um I like anyway um he gave me uh three things that I love all of them um I didn't expect a couple of, well, I didn't expect any of them, but I didn't know anything about a couple of them. The third thing is something I've wanted for years, um, and he just, he knows me well. Um, so, anyway, um, the first thing is this. It's a pinhead monster, which I didn't know anything about. Um, Pinheadmonsters.com, from my imagination to yours. Pin, at Pinhead Monsters, um, and this is, uh, okay, be real cool if you focused there, you know what, there you go, um, designed by Ru Ruben Macias, Macias, I, I guess I'm probably ruining that name, but, um, all the information you need to find them is at PinheadMonsters.com or at Pinhead Monsters, um, but this is a pretty neat um, figurine that my nephew gave me. He knows that I'm I'm nuts about horror and stuff like that. And this one in particular is one of my favorite characters from any horror film. Come on, buddy. Um, and it's really funny that these are pinhead monsters because he got me the pinhead figure so it's pinhead as a pinhead monster and uh he's on his little base and let's see was it 20 2018 pc pc oh oh that's that um pacific trading uh yeah anyway um, this is a figure, and it's, it's based on, you know, an original sculpt, uh, but this is a, I think this is a resin casting of it, but very cool, um, I like the colors on it, it's kind of, uh, unusual for Pinhead, but, uh, kind of makes me think of a, a pretty cool, like, doll that somebody made, like a rag doll, um, with the button eyes and everything, and it's got the, um, the puzzle box as well. All the little bloody tools that he carried around on him. So that's pretty cool. I really dig that. Um, that will go with my horror stuffs. Um, I, I, I just got home from my trip. So I haven't really had a chance to get anything out. And uh, put it up on display. But I'll be doing that now. So that's gift number one. Um, the second one is a furry bones. Um, another thing that I didn't know anything about, but, um, uh, I saw a bunch of these on display, um, when I was up in Tennessee and I was like, these are really cool. They're another resin figurine and it's little skull guys that are, um, um, they wear different disguises or different outfits and stuff like that. And once again, he knew exactly what to get me because I am, I'm a cryptid nut. And so he got me, uh, come on, work with me here, buddy. I don't want to drop it because it is resin. It'll break if I drop it. Um, Resin's great stuff. You just have to be really careful with it. Come on. Those horns keep getting caught. He gave me the Yeti. And that thing's adorable. I really do like that little guy. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, Summit Collection. I don't know. But uh, this is the Furry Bones. Um, 
furry bones on Facebook. There's a QR code if that helps. Um, but yeah, the, pretty cool. I, I really like this guy. Um, another another cool thing that I'll I'll have on display. Um, I, I collect Bigfoot and Yeti and stuff like that, so he will go with my Bigfoot, um, my big furry monster man collection. Um, but yeah, those are really cool, and I really do like them, and thank you a lot, Josh. Um, but this final thing is something that I have wanted for a long time, and it's, you know, he knew me. Um, let's see, uh, I was trying to see if it had a name for the original kit, um, this is, if I'm not mistaken, now this is a Polar Lights. Uh, it's a, uh, what's this, new larger size vintage reproduction model kit. It's 1.8 scale. Um, Incredible Hulk. And you can see it's got the, the reproduction. I, I don't know if it was actually Kirby doing the artwork or somebody that was doing a Kirby-like drawing. Or it might even be like... Um, so Hollywood? I, I can't remember who did, or Dick Ayers. I can't remember who did the Hulk at one point in there, um, back during the, the 60s. But it's a really cool illustration on the box. And um, I want to say that this, this is from um, Polar Lights, which I think is a, uh, like they were a branch of that Playing Mantis, which I don't think they even, I'm not sure if, if either one of these companies still exist or not, but I have wanted this model kit. I, I want to say the original model kit that it's based on was an Aurora kit. I know Aurora did a lot of monster kits and all. I'm not sure if they did um, the Marvel kits or not, but I've wanted this kit for a long time. Um, and uh, I will greatly enjoy um, putting this thing together. I, it, it might be, I, I don't know that it's a collector's item or whatever. I don't care. Um, I do kind of want to take a look in here and see, you know, what exact size this is going to be whenever it's put together. So, uh, let's see. Uh, maybe some of you guys are cringing. I don't know. Maybe this thing is out of print and worth $3 million. I don't think it is, but... Um, I don't really care. Um, I've, I've wanted this model kit, and I've wanted to work on this model kit for a very long time. So it's getting open. Um, and I, mean, you know, I don't care if it's worth three hundred dollars or four hundred or what. I don't care. Um, all I know is I, my nephew got it for me, and he knew I wanted to build it because um, I had said something a long time ago about this kit. Um, let's see. Where are we coming from here? I'm not very good at unboxing. Mm -hmm. that? That's weird. It has like a little window on the back of it. Not sure why, but whatever. Um, let's see. This comes out any easier. Uh, okay. Alright. And yeah, this is oh this is a good size model kit. Um yeah, so that's his face. Oh man, that's a face that only a mother could love. Um yeah, that's that's good size. I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of that. And there's the there's the base. Man, the base is huge. Um oh it, got like little explosions and oh it says the hulk on it and everything that is that's super awesome um i wonder why it had the little window in there i didn't really see anything you know that was like made you go oh we needed to see this through the window but um yeah it's got the the instructions and god it even looks like the instructions are reproduced from the originals very cool. Um, oh, it's got like smoke and uh, a, a cracked thing and the Hulk sign plus a, a piece of iron 
um, la mouette avant du cool, um, cool, neat. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, oh, here's the, here's the English. Uh, does it say anything about who did the artwork on it? No, I, they didn't really, like, I remember the old comic books didn't even have credits in them as far as, like, who drew them and who wrote them and stuff like that. Stan Lee gave himself credit a lot of times. Uh, here's a... Um, attention, Amazing Figure Modeler Magazine. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure this is still in date. Um, I'd like to receive my special Polar Light subscription rate of $28 for five issues of Amazing Figure Modeler Magazine. I'd like a current sample issue I don't know what year this was put out Let's see does it say on here uh 2003 yeah I, I don't know I mean, maybe that magazine still exists but uh yeah, who knows but anyway uh this has just been a little look at the really cool stuff that I got for my birthday and uh I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy having it and I'm going to enjoy all of these things. And Joshua, I just want to tell you thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate these gifts. And you're the best. And I'll talk to you guys later.